Hi, welcome to the interactive online course on aquaponics. Aquaponics is one of the most promising sustainable systems for food production, which combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish wastewater becomes the nutrients for the plants and, the plant wastewater becomes clean water for the fish. Aquaponics, has a low environmental impact. Considering that food is produced with low water consumption. The idea is to combine the advantages of both systems and use this to create a better production system. But first we look at each system on its own. How does a hydroponic system work? And how does an aquaculture system work? A hydroponic system is a soilless plant production system. In a hydroponic system, you have two inputs, mineral fertilizer and water. As outputs of the system you have the harvest in the form of crops. And day at the end of the growing season you have a small amount of nutrient filled wastewater left over. As you can see with the small arrow. Aquaculture is the cultivation of aquatic animals, especially fish and shellfish. In an aquaculture system you also have two inputs, feed and water. As outputs you get the harvest in the form of fish. And wastewater. The wastewater has to be continuously removed or else the nutrients could accumulate and become toxic for the fish. Also the wastewater adds additional nutrients to the natural environment. To produce less wastewater in aquaculture, it is common to include a cleaning step with a biofilter and reuse part of the water in a cycled system, called recirculating aquaculture. Still, there is wastewater which has to be treated ending up as additional nutrients in the environment. In a basic aquaponic system you have two inputs, fish feed and water. You can, harvest fish and plants as outputs, of the system. The nutrient filled wastewater from the fish is used by the plants and can recirculate to the fish, because the plants take up the nutrients. This is the basic concept of a simple aquaponic system. It is important, that there is no waste water, and therefore, no eutrophication. In an aquaponic system you can get rid of the nutrients by including plants as an additional cleaning step. Plants take up the nutrients from the fish and grow. Depending on the intensity of the production system, you can have only the plants, or plants combined with a biofilter. But in any case you need the nitrifying bacteria that convert ammonia, into nitrate, either in the biofilter or growing on the plant substrate. The bacteria are crucial, because the plants take up nitrogen in the form of nitrate better, than in the form of ammonia. It is important to remember that the bacteria are one of the three most important parts in aquaponics, just like the plants and the fish. As we heard before, there are various reasons for the use of aquaponic technology. And therefore there are different types of requirements a system has to fulfill. The type of aquaponic system you build depends what you want to achieve with the system. It is possible to distinguish between extensive and intensive systems, closed loop and open loop, on the different type of implemented hydroponic systems, on the scale, hobby scale, small scale, medium or large scale as well as, on the orientation, vertical, or horizontal. An extensive production integrates the biofilter, as well as the sludge removal directly in the hydroponic unit. By using substrates that provide the appropriate support for the growth of the biofilm. Substrates examples are gravel, sand or expanded clay. An intensive production, uses a separate biofilter, and a sludge separation system. Both operational methods have advantages and disadvantages. Integrated sludge and biofilter causes a reduced biofilter performance, and turbid water, therefore, only allows extensive fish stocking. Intensive production is possible with separated sludge removal, but this step creates further products that need to be used, like the fish sludge. Aquaponic systems can be constructed, and operated as a recirculating loop. With water flowing in both directions. However, the environmental requirements of fish and plants are not the same. 
Also treating sick fish could be problematic for the plants and vice versa. And recent developments have been more towards an independent control over each system unit, resulting in a one-directional water flow. These systems are called decoupled aquaponic systems. Meaning the fish live happily in the water, once the water is saturated with nutrients it gets sent to the plants. The nutrients that are then missing for the plants can be added without disturbing the fish. Due to the evapotranspiration there is no resulting waste water. These are three types of hydroponic units, which are most used in aquaponics. Media filled grow beds. Deep water culture and nutrient film technique but we won't go too much into detail here because you will learn more about that later so we can conclude with the question why aquaponics basically aquaponic can be seen as a water and nutrient recycling technology which saves water and produces less or no waste water the waste in form of sludge is converted into useful plant biomass the water saving aspect enables crop production in areas where water is a scarce resource. For example in urban areas or tropical areas. Aquaponics can be used in urban farming as a soil independent fish and vegetable production system. In general it is a good possibility to grow your own local food and to be self-sufficient. Some disadvantages are. There are very high initial costs. A climate and lighting adaptation can be difficult. The energy costs for pumps and heating are high. Aquaponic needs a lot of technical knowledge. And keep in mind to buy extra pumps because they will fail eventually. Thank you very much for your attention.